Hi dear friends, uh, today we give a start to a new course and it will be about the decorations for Christmas. Yay! We love so much Christmas and I hope you too. Uh, in this uh, course we will mainly uh, need uh, gouache or tempera and I have this from my kids, I didn't buy any new. And uh, we will use some very interesting colors. Usually we use for Christmas decorations red, green and white. And uh, this is what we will do. We will start from a very easy drawings and uh, then we'll go step by step on other lessons with something more difficult. So let's begin, let's start. First what I will do, I will paint all over with red color. It is red gouache and uh, usually when we uh, work with gouache we use water. The difference between gouache and watercolors is that gouache is not so transparent like watercolor. Yeah, And here we go. We will uh, paint a snowflake and that is why a snowflake will be white on a red background. Okay, painting all in red. As you see the properties of gouache is that uh, Wash is drying really, really fast. I love this red color. Once it will dry up, as well, color it from another side too, and the flake will be painted on both sides. Why we will do it on both sides? Just because we will decorate our Christmas tree and we have some beautiful decorations throughout the house. You can use acrylic too, but you cannot use watercolors unfortunately, because watercolors is very transparent and it will not be the same effect that can be afforded with gouache or acrylic colors. And I leave it to dry. Meanwhile, I will make the video on pause and then we'll come back to draw with you the snowflakes. Yeah, make sure to paint it well all over. Okay, now after it dries, we use white color, white gouache and paint a snowflakes. Very easy movement. As you see, I use, I will use six cross lines and then we'll paint Snowflake. More or less the lines have to be within the same Demain. 
inches. Okay. Here we go, improving the color, that it will be pure white. this kind of round oval lines all over here Okay, here we go. And here we have this kind of beautiful form of the snowflakes. I remember you that I use gouache but you can also use acrylic painting watercolor is not proper medium for this kind of do-it-yourself so check to the closest store if you have gouache I use a very cheap kind of gouache that use my kids and it works very well for me of course we can use oil painting but I don't know if you would like to use it because it dries really long time and we want to paint it on all on both sides of the of this do it yourself round and here we go like this like this and like this I 
I'm going all over again just as you can see my white color here is not so strong enough and what I want is to get a really really white color I'm leaving it to dry and then I will proceed on the other side here we go with the same painting but on the other side okay you paint the cross lines don't worry if your white is not very very white and it's more transparent we will go once again all over again and fill the color we have we need six lines I'm looking here how I have this painting done and the ovals I have on this cross line and I'm going all over making the same ornament very easy ornament, right? Okay, and here we go. And here we have the petals, bigger one and smaller. And I will do this. Okay, here we go, bigger one and smaller petals bigger and smaller bigger petals and smaller one bigger and smaller bigger and smaller bigger and smaller and here we go the last one okay and what I do I create the last moment here and here and I'm finishing my flower inside flower here we go okay now I will improve the color by adding more white here you can do it too
and leaving it to dry. Look what a beauty when it dries. Very pretty, right? Let's move next on the second one. 